album before. It's just, uh, hold on a second. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. All right, just give it a minute. Uh, t uh, do something sexy. I don't care. Do something sexy. Just whatever you do, don't talk about your fucking boyfriend while we're having sex. How about that? Objection. Shoes. 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 Oh my god. Shoes. Objection. Two parts of lager and a packet of crisp, please. Two parts of lager and a packet of crisp, please. I'll have two parts of lager and a packet of crisp, please. I'll have some pickled onions and a little bit of cheese, please. Thank you. Objection! Hey, why don't you just go? Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die! Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die! Objection! with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out, Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 is my hairbrush? Having heard his cry, Pa Grape enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Pa regains his composure and reports. I think I saw a hairbrush back there! Back there is my hairbrush. Back there is my hairbrush. Back there, back there, oh where, back there, oh where, oh where, back there, back there, back there! Is my hairbrush? Having heard his joyous proclamation, Junior Asparagus enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Junior regains his composure and comments, Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair! Larry is taken aback. The thought had never occurred to him. No hair? What will this mean? What will become of him? What will become of his hairbrush? Larry wonders, No hair for my hairbrush. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair, 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 back there, no hair! For my hairbrush! Having heard his wonderings, Bob the Tomato enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Bob regains his composure and confesses, Larry, that old hairbrush of yours, well, you never use it, you don't really need it, so, well, I'm sorry, I didn't know, but I gave it to the peach. Cause he's got hair. Feeling a deep sense of loss, Larry stumbles back and laments. Not fair, oh my hairbrush. Not fair, my poor hairbrush. Not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no wear, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair. My little hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the peach <laughs> enters the scene. Himself in a towel, both Larry and the peach are shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of each other. But recognizing Larry's generosity, the peach is thankful. Thanks for that hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The peach exits the scene. Larry smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out. Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, oh my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care. Take care, nice hair, no fair. Take care, take care of 
my hairbrush. 